the reason that I ended up going to the University of Washington um, was <laughs> partly because they offered me a full ride scholarship. I think all along my parents said they would send me to any school that I wanted, but when it came right down to it, money's incentive. And I ended up going to the University of Washington. What's funny is I ended up getting an academic scholarship and actually gave part of my athletic scholarship away. So I only was on two thirds of an athletic scholarship through college because I was able to get academic. Um, I didn't know even after I signed my letter of intent that that's where I wanted to go. Um, I think it was only after that I had been there and even more so after I graduated that I realized what an incredible college experience I had. But more than that, like to be an alumni of a school in, the home st in my home state, in a home state that's not traditionally known for golf, has been just an incredible blessing for me. Like I have incredible support in the state of Washington, which there's been other great golfers to come out of the state of Washington, especially in recent years, Michael Putnam, Ryan Moore, Kyle Stanley, who all have left the state and gone to colleges elsewhere and then now play on the PGA Tour. Well, don't get me wrong, everybody in the state of Washington is very proud of them, but I feel an ex an, a special amount of support from my Washington natives knowing that, that I stayed, that I stayed and went to college in the, at University of Washington and then was still able to pursue a professional career after that. So give some advice to young people who might be doing really well in junior golf, in high school, even junior high, as they're looking toward where they want to go to school, where do they want to apply, how they want to kind of set up their career, if they want to follow a career, what do they need to be looking for and how do they need to really be working on their game so that colleges will be attracted to them? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is for young people as they look forward to what colleges they want to attend is really look at the college first. I think academics are extremely important. I think that if you choose the right college, if you have a will to play professional golf, you'll find a way. And I think I have a good example of going to the University of Washington, not a traditionally strong program for you know winters and, and, and maybe not, uh, they're a very good golf program now, but even when I started, they, they weren't. Um, but you look at Keegan Bradley, who went to St. John's and up in the Northeast that wasn't a great golf program, golf school, golf climate, he found a way. And I think that if you, if you set yourself up to be at a school that you enjoy, that academically will provide you with a good education, that if golf doesn't work out, that you've got something to fall back on. I certainly, when I was 19 years old, I pl was out of golf for a year because of an injury. I never thought I'd play golf again. So I always you know, advise people to consider the fact that you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if you can set yourself up for your future, regardless of what happens with golf, that you're going to be just fine, it takes a lot of pressure off if you do pursue golf and you have a good education to back it up and are satisfied with you know, those four years or five years of your life. 2006, for you, I don't know where you were. Were you at the end of your college career? Correct. Was an insanely successful year for you. Yes. Kind of walk me through some of the key things that you did that you're really proud of and how you did them. Okay. Well, it actually it started a lot with 2005 when this was my first kind of big international event that I ever played in, the Spirit was, and, and to be selected for this team based on accomplishments that were good, um, but just the beginning of what I considered to be my best summer, which was 2006. And um, in 2006, I won the <laughs> transnational, which was, in my opinion, my best event that I've ever played in. I was medal is a match play event, and I, I played at um, Mid Pines, which is in the Pinehurst area, uh, right across from Pine Needles. And I was medalist after 36 holes, so I was the number one seed going into match play. Ended up cruising through my matches. My final match was against Liz Giannangelo, who was one of the top ranked amateur players at the time, and I won the 36 hole final nine and eight. And it was just, to me, it was the pinnacle of, of golf. It's uh, when you play well, you know you're playing well, and you, and you execute. Um, I also was semifinalist at the North and South at Pinehurst that summer. Um, lost <laughs> to Yanni Singh on the 19th hole in the semifinals, who she was the eventual champion over Morgan Pressel in the finals. Uh, was medalist at the U.S. Amateur, uh, which was in pump at Pumpkin Ridge, which was just down the road from my hometown in Yakima, it was in Portland, Oregon. And then that summer I actually stayed, I stayed amateur for both the Curtis Cup and then the U.S. Amateur. The Curtis Cup was also played in the state of Oregon at Bannon Dunes, which was about 15 miles from my dad's hometown on the southern coast of Oregon. So I had a lot of family support that summer. I had incredible amateur events and all of it was just, 
honestly, it was a celebration of what, what I had already done. Um, I think the hardest, the hardest part about transitioning to professional golf was making that decision and making all those transitions. Leaving college, moving away from the city that I had lived in for five years, the house that I would lived in for three years in college, and turning pro and being in independent and self-sufficient and, and knowing you had to perform to make a living. You know, there was, no, there was not a lot of guaranteed contracts coming out of college, even being the number one player in the country. Like, you, you still have to perform. And for me, that summer was just extra special because it was just a celebration of, of an amateur career.